no gunshots, but they get in low, 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 get... Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. So you may notice that something looks a little bit different here. I'm on a map. I'm in Giants Editor. But this is not Nodak Farms by any means. Well, I decided to quit with Nodak Farms. Uh, the terrain, I just... I didn't care for it. It was too flat. So I decided to pick out a new area. The area that I picked out... You may notice the name. It is in or near Rockville, Wisconsin. Now, if you know what is near Rockville, Wisconsin, you know exactly what area this is. If you don't, well, I'll tell you. This is the area where How Farms Work is uh, based out of. This right about there is where their farm is. Um... I'm still waiting to hear back from Ryan. I did send him a message on Instagram here today. Uh, today is Sunday, and you're seeing this Monday. But So yesterday, um, I sent Ryan a message on Instagram, um, told him what I was doing, and was asking him a few questions, you know, like if I could make their farm and um, a few other things, and, you know, like if I could call the map um, a certain name. And um, I just named it Rockville Farms for now. Uh, just kind of as a temporary name, but I'll probably be changing that um, depending on what I hear back from Ryan uh, whenever I do and if I do, I guess. But uh, yeah, so if I bring up the uh, sign here, you can see uh, that it is pretty dang close to uh, the real thing. I mean, it's as close as I can possibly get it. Uh, I've, I don't even know how many hours I've put into this map already, but, um, yeah, so you will notice it is flat. Um, I do have the terrain file made for it. Uh, you can see the DEM right there. I don't have it in right now because it's easier with this, um, with this, it's easier to have a flat map and lay out the fields and the roads. So... Um, like I have, you know, I have my gravel roads lined out. I've got an outline of where the highway will go. That's what, uh, this road and this road is. And then that's another gravel road. Um, I do have to still add, like, section lines and stuff getting into fields and whatnot. But, uh, those I can add later on. Um, but... So what I have left to do yet before I can put the terrain in, um, I need to add um, some stuff to some of these fields and then cover the map in grass. Um, if you'll notice, some of these fields have an A on them. Um, and I'm sure you're wondering why. So I'll show you why. Now, first off, let's look at this. Now if you look, some of these strips are green. Meaning that, well, I'm pretty sure that that's alfalfa in real life. I'm not 100% positive, but I'm going to make those hay fields in the game. Now, the way that I'm going to do that is just like this. You'll see alfalfa. Now, 17 doesn't actually support legitimate alfalfa. So, you may be wondering, well, then how in the heck did you have... How the world do you have alfalfa? Well, uh, if you guys know of the Clover Creek map uh, made in 15, the creator of that map, CWJ108, he actually came up with this. Um, so basically, if you look, I'm selected on grass right now. And then if we go over here and look at the foliage folder, you'll see... Rough grass diffuse has alfalfa texture. Basically, what it is is retextured grass. Um, you know, to get it to look like this versus looking like I think this one still looks. So you'll see the difference here. So kind of crappy and good alfalfa. 
Now, the difference is that um, this is set up as normal grass, and this is set up similar to canola. That's what the difference is between the two. So that's what it was. Uh, it's just basically doing some stuff in the i3d file um, and doing some copying and pasting of like the uh, canola and the grass lines. So um, I do need to adjust the texture that I have though. I am using the wrong one. Um, so I need to go to map. Uh, textures, foliage, lazern, and I want this one, not the one that uh, I currently have. So then, for where I'm going to be putting like regular grass, um, I just changed the town decoration grass, basically. So that's uh, what the difference is, or that's how I, that's how it's done, I guess. Uh, to add alfalfa. Um, hmm. I don't really like that alfalfa texture either. It doesn't quite look right. See, now that's withered. Well, I'm going to just put the other one back in for now. And then um, I'll do some searching and find a nice uh, grass texture or um, not grass but alfalfa texture and I'll find something at some point but so what we're gonna do in this video we are going to work on adding alfalfa uh, to these fields or to the strips that'll have alfalfa anyways so let me just make sure. Okay, it is back to the other one. So I don't know if I want to... I might keep it as this texture, but I'd like to try and find a bit more realistic of one. But we'll see. So what I'm going to do... Um, so you can see, you know, it's just a standard field here. But, you know, to put alfalfa over that, it just doesn't quite look right, does it? So... Instead, I'm going to put this underneath and then put the alfalfa over top of that. That looks a little bit better. Now, I'm not actually sure if I can... I wonder if I can... Uh, no, nah, I didn't think so. I didn't think that I could... Uh, um paint grass or anything into there but it was worth a shot okay so uh, yeah that's how I'm gonna get so that like I can actually see the alfalfa because otherwise I could just sit and put it um, right over there like that but you zoom out you don't see the alfalfa and I want to be able to see my alfalfa fields. So, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start over here. And uh, we're going to start out adding alfalfa. Oops. And did I forget to do that one? That corner? Ah, I see. That's right. Okay, so I need to fix this corner here first. Need to get it rounded off. There we go. Okay. Oh, I didn't do any of these corners on this field here. This was the last field that I did, so. Um, and I'm going to drop this down to like six. For this area since it's so small and then just make this nice and big and oops maybe not that 
big though. Perfect, and then I'll just go like that. Cool. And we'll just do this corner. So yeah, some of you have maybe noticed me talking about my new secret project. Um, and, you know, like with the 46, uh, or not 46, the 7600. You may be starting to figure it out now. So what the uh, idea is, is having this map and um, providing, you know, hopefully I hear back from Ryan um, about uh, a question that I had just asking him if I could make, uh, you know, like their actual farmyard. Um, so if he gives me the okay for that, the goal is to get mods of all of the equipment that they use and basically be running a how farms work farm in um, farm sim. So that'd be kind of neat. I need to fix the wheel on my chair. It's not quite lined up. Come on. There we go. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of the, the uh, goal. Um behind like the 7600 and stuff like that so we'll kind of have to see what uh, what happens there and see just kind of what we hear back or what I hear back I guess so yeah the uh, goal here in doing this is that I get the alfalfa to basically line up with the edges of this field and then when I go back and paint in like the grass field bottom part type thingy then um, then this should all line up perfectly that's the idea I mean that's just hoping that this all works out the way that I want it to but uh, we'll have to get at it and see here of course I can kinda um, you know I don't have to be exactly perfect with everything I guess if something's a little bit off it shouldn't be too big of a deal There we go. Um, shouldn't be too awfully big of a deal. I mean, if it's... Because alfalfa does grow kind of wild, so... That's another thing I'm thinking, you know, like in the ditches, putting um, alfalfa in the ditches a little bit. Like, not full-on alfalfa in the ditch, but having a little bit. Uh, the only bad thing with the way that this is done is that the only actual grass that you have left is the town decoration grass and you can't actually make hay from that so I mean alfalfa is the only option for making hay with like there's no like until we possibly get multi mowing mod in 17 the only way to make hay from anything but this alfalfa is impossible like there's no other way to make hay um, unless I were to revert this back to just plain norm plain old normal grass which let me tell you right now I don't plan on doing I'll stick to just making hay from hay fields and then just like I don't know maybe mowing the rest of the stuff or something like that you know um, but it definitely won't be too huge of a deal to not be able to mow like normal grass but it definitely would be nice uh, to be able to do but if not I'm not gonna worry about it too much I guess um, I mean there are plenty of 
areas for making hay on here. So uh, I don't foresee hay being an issue. So now I just kind of cover this in uh, the field texture for grass fields and then we should be good because now if I zoom out you can see the uh, field there you know you can tell it looks different so I'll be able to uh, it'll be recognizable on PDA which is uh, what I was going for. So it's a good thing that 17 does have this uh, feature of like an actual grass field look. Because um, then you can, you know, I can do this alfalfa field stuff and it doesn't have to look like a normal field. You know, like a crop field. So that's nice. I may, like, change, see if I can change this texture, though, um, a little bit. Just to make it look a little bit di more different than, um, you know, the actual grass texture. Although I think I may change, like, this grass ground texture anyways so I mean that would help um, I need to look look into that but I'm pretty sure I'm going to change it I just gotta find a texture that I want to change it to uh, you know what let's look at that right now <clears throat> um, terrain so I don't know exactly which, uh, probably acre grass would be my guess. So let's look at the one here. Textures, terrain, distance. So they look kind of the same. Uh, let's look at this one once. Textures, terrain. Um, so let's go like this. Well, this is the actual hay field here that we're looking at. So what I want to try doing, so let's save the map. And I want to create a backup of this in case something uh, screws up here. Because I've learned from making that mistake multiple times. And I don't want to do that ever again if I can help it. So, backing up quite often is a very, very, very good idea. So, textures, terrain, distance. So then I want to copy the name from that. Oh wait, that's the backup. Um, Clover Creek. Oh, let's look at the. See, that's okay. We can close that one. Let's look at this. Adjust the regular grass texture. There's also this one. So, okay, we can minimize that. Let's copy the name from this. And we'll move this to here. Uh, oh, yeah. It would help to remove that one. So now we'll go over here to the map and click Reload Textures. Hopefully this doesn't crash or anything on me. Oh, 
Okay, so that's not the file for that. So then which one? So now we gotta figure out which. Okay, so we can put that one back in there. Uh, shoot, I got rid of that one then. Anyway. Ground. If I can get one of them changed to be much different. Hmm. Let's try this one from Clover Creek here. to go now. There it is. Ah. Such a hassle doing this here. There we go. Okay, now let's reload textures. And see, it should be this grass texture here that changes. Or neither of them. Hmm. Well then, oops, not that. Well, I'll have to play around with that a little later and see if I can figure out which uh, which thing will change that. Because I want to change at least change the field texture so that that looks a little bit different um, I do want to change my grass terrain texture as well but um, I'm not too worried about that right now so okay so now the rest of this I can do from way up here because I can see it. So we got the first alfalfa field added in. Cool. That's awesome. Um, yeah, sweet. I am super glad. That uh, this has worked out the way that I wanted it to, or way that I had hoped it would. Let's go ahead and grab a picture of this. Okay, cool. So back to it we go. Uh, so I actually don't need my scenograph. I just need terrain editing. Oops. Uncheck two on that. Okay, so now we can go back to square and ten and... Grass, six. See, I wish that the grass and the dry grass were like two different things. Um, unfortunately, they're both kind of run off of the same textures uh, in a way. So if they weren't, I could have like this normal grass here be my alfalfa. And then the... Um, 
the dry grass could be like normal hay. So then, you know, I could have fields of like grass and alfalfa mixture. And then, um, you know, I could be doing like ditch hay and stuff like that. But unfortunately, Giants was not thinking of that. I'm sure they probably weren't planning on people uh, taking their grass and turning it into alfalfa. But. Um, but, oh well, I guess, maybe there is a way to get it so that there's, you know, you can make hay from normal grass as well, but, uh, if there is, I don't know it personally, um, could be something that I ask, uh, CWJ about, ask him if he was able to, like, make normal grass, or if he was just limited to his alfalfa or how he worked that but uh, it is definitely cool and it is pretty easy this way too because the bales and stuff you know like the balers and just the game overall already recognizes this because it's it's only grass that's all that it is um, you know, it's just retextured grass, so uh, so there will be no issues with like balers or mixer wagons or anything like that not recognizing the alfalfa because it's just grass. The game won't know any difference, really. I mean, it'll just know that the textures are different, but I mean, the game doesn't really care about that. Because if it did, you wouldn't be able to change your ground textures and stuff like that. But, uh... But, luckily, it does not. <clears throat> so... Um, I need to straighten this edge out here. Whoops. Helps to not select canola. Alright, so now, uh, I'm actually just going to keep that on round, but now, the one bad thing about this is that you can't actually zoom out and see the alfalfa. It would be nice if you could, but it would make this part a little easier, that's for sure. But it still works. I mean, I guess there could be... You could come up with a creative way to kind of get around it. Um, yeah, you could, like, plant the field or something in, like, a crop here in Giants Editor. And then, you know, use this grass. And then you could tell where it's at by, you know, because it's removing that crop. So then, you know, you'd know by seeing it. So, like... If I went wheat, six, so you can see that there now. But then if I went back to grass, and you can see that it's removing it. So that would be, you know, that would be one way that you could tell. But that would be a whole lot more extra work because you're, you know, basically planting the fields twice uh, in Giants Editor, so... That's kind of kind of pointless in a way because it's you're just wasting time. And maps are definitely not fast, so 
you can save time doing stuff, it's definitely something that you would want to do. Dismiss, please. Sheesh. Okay, so we'll finish uh, this field here. I don't know why, but it seems like some of the uh, textures for here in 17, like things are set up a little bit differently than they were in 15. Like things aren't, I don't know, at least I haven't been able to locate things quite as easily. It could just be me, very possibly. But, uh, I don't know, it just seems like I can't find files as easily like to change this grass texture i mean that'd be a breeze but now it just kind of seems impossible like it's so much harder to find now but like i said that could just quite possibly be me and i'm not finding things easily you know like i don't know but Pretty sure it's just that it's like different. So the nice thing about um, putting down this hay field texture or grass field texture is then I can actually fertilize the alfalfa. And then, you know, also just being able to see it on the PDA. Uh, that is a huge plus. It'd be kind of hard to know where your hayfield is if you can't see it on like the PDA or anything. Would definitely not be. Uh, would definitely not make things easy. It'll definitely be even easier to see the hay field once I do get textures changed. So, okay. So, what I'm going to do um, between, like, now and the next video, I'm going to get a couple more fields of alfalfa added. And then I'm going to get the gravel texture changed. And then also get this grass, you know, terrain texture changed and see if I can't change uh, the hay field texture as well. But at least changing this grass texture at the very least uh, would work just fine. But uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.